my Tamara Thomas one was a two-parter. The first part was the body of the season. I'm obsessed with the fact that you have abs. Absolutely nothing going on in your brain. <laughs> I am back. So welcome to the Drag Race Yearbook Live. Thank you so much for joining us. Today, I am joined by the Comic Sans of Drag, who is also in mourning. It is Kate Butch. Hello, wife. How are you, Bab? <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm very well. I mean, I'm very surprised to be talking to you because I remember winning the whole thing. Um, <laughs> and I... I yeah, they, it's they put the wrong video in or something. They have. I, they really what world of wonder. What they like? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> right. As it's your first time here at the yearbook, let me explain how this works. We're going to have a little kiki, a little chat about your time on Drag Race UK season five, and then I'll be asking you to nominate your fellow sisters in our juicy yearbook category. Oh God, you already know. Is there this. a twist? Is there, is there one rule? Is there one there. rule? I should. There is one rule. What is it? You can't nominate yourself. <laughs> you I watch it? this every week. I love every it. Week. Like, it's, it's magical. You're, you're one of my biggest fans, Kate. I don't know what you mean. I am. I'm obsessed with you. Oh, my God. Who isn't these days? Right. Let's get into it, darling. Our first category is the biggest drama queen. Kate, who was the biggest drama queen of the season? And what was their most dramatic moment? I think... With all the love in my heart, I love her to pieces. And based on this episode, it's it's the gorgeous Dee Delicious. Yes, I I can I can tell that. I knew that. Was I mean, we had little crumbs of it in the first week when she lost her wig and she wouldn't stop going on about it. But um, <laughs> this episode, she bless her heart, she was so excited for this challenge and she really wanted to win it. And when it turned out that it wasn't going to be that way, which I still don't understand. Um, she was very resigned and like I'm lip syncing for the third time. And she came up to me in the workroom and she was like, I'm just, just, just you, I really want you to win and stay. And I was like, that's very lovely. Thank you. And then I looked away and I looked back and she was getting a big pair of scissors and slicing up her dress so that she could do the splits in it. And you oh. saw her doing those splits. And I was like, well, okay, that's me that, gone. Bye-bye. <laughs> that, that is Dee Dee. Yeah, she, she's very that. But you know what? It's okay, because you're still an icon, Kate. But <laughs> talking of drama, everyone was gagged to see you go, because we thought you'd you'd be at the end, babes. There was a lot of Kate was robbed comments on Twitter. Half of them were by you, I could tell. Um, <laughs> when you lost the lip sync to Dee Dee, and fans were upset because they kept cutting away from you, and you were doing a bit of a st stellar job. What do you say about that, now you were able to watch it back? I mean, I was always going to be at a disadvantage going against Dee Dee. She's an incredible lip syncer, an incredible all around person. Mm -hmm. um, but I think I, I held my own. You did? I, I, if we were going to choose someone to eliminate Dee Delicious in a lip sync, it probably wouldn't have been me. But um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I was just happy that I didn't look like an idiot, that my wig stayed on, I didn't slip over, I remembered all the words. Yeah. And I loved the song and I just had a great time doing it. Exactly, and I would, I would have personally had a double Shantae. It was for charity. It was for charity. Why she? It's for I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot. Uh, <laughs> were you a lovely time? Were you a bit myth that you uh, didn't get to the rose challenge? Because I was literally gutted. It's a double-edged sword, isn't it? Because if I'd done the rose challenge, I probably would have done quite well, wouldn't I? And I would have made it to the top three. Which does it make sense looking at my? track record my work on the season maybe not so much but then if i had flopped the roast a stand-up type challenge that is that's me done that's my career over so yeah, it's always even wanting more yeah yeah wanting more there we go we want more kate we want more you can Move have it i'll give it you uh <laughs> moving on to our next category it is shadiest queen who was the shadiest queen of the season and what was their shadiest moment well to me, shade has to be done with a little twinkle in your eye, oh. a little wink, wink, nudge, nudge, mm. some humour. Otherwise, you're just being nasty. Um, and I love her to pieces. Um, she's one of my best friends now, and she shot and edited my whole new music video. Um, it's it's the one and only Ginger Johnson. 
Ginger Johnson, yes. I'll tell you why, if you like. Uh, yes, please, come on. So, this um, sticks in my mind forever. The Rusical. We do the Rusical, we do the little run where we get our critiques, and there's a little walk from the main stage back into Untucked. And you're meant to say nothing, but it's drag queens. You can't keep us quiet. And Ginger whispered to me, she was like, I think you're going to win. You're, you're going to win this challenge. And I was like, that's very kind, thank you. It's gone really well and I'm really happy. And we sat down and untucked and someone went, so Ginger, who do you think's in the top? And she went, uh, it's between Vicky and Michael. <laughs> oh, and another one, I've just remembered another one. Um, it was the disaster class and um, we'd done untucked and they were getting, they were doing like lip syncing in the mirror, the people that thought they were lip syncing and a big bee or a fly or something came into the workroom and Naomi Carter went from one end of the mirror to the other end of the mirror. And Ginger just turned to me and went, now wrong with a leg now, is there? <laughs> Listen, the girl will run when she needs to run. Do you know what I mean? Listen, insects and with an enemy. Well, talking of the shade, you had some hilarious reads in the reading challenge. Is there anything that we didn't get to see, darling? Oh, there's a, there's a few. I I had like six for each person i was like this is a stand-up set we're doing a monologue let's do it you just want the best ones if you can remember them <laughs> um banksy i said um uh, just like your namesake banksy i wish i didn't know who you were oh <laughs> um um my tomorrow thomas one was a two-parter the first part was the body of the season i'm obsessed with the fact that you have abs absolutely nothing going on in your brain <laughs> I loved I, so many, so many, so many. Bex, we're just gonna need you to pop them on, you know, online or something. I ne I need the reads. Don't read me, but everyone else. Thank you. I would Bex, never. No, I know that's right. Now we have to talk <laughs> about the elephant in the room, Vicky Vivacious. Uh, in our interview, not only did Vicky say you were a wish queen, uh, but she also said she didn't get your snatch game. And she also called you out for lying uh, to RuPaul on the runway. Is there drama? What's going on, babes? Do you have much of a relationship with Vicky? There's no drama. I saw her last night. She came to heaven. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah, there, like, there's, there's no drama. I mean, yes, some of my outfits were... One of my outfits was from online. Um, the the wetsuit. Um I'll t someone's makeover was from Shein, but I won't tell you who's. Oh. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, but I mean, th there's no prize money. No, the <laughs> I'm the only one not in debt. <laughs> and I'm quite funny. And Is this Mr. Giuliani of the season? If we have Mr. Giuliani. Uh <laughs> um, but no, there's, 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 no, no. I'm not, my humor is not for everyone. I know this. My drag is not for everyone and yeah. it doesn't have to be, but, um, uh, it's for a lot of people, which is nice. Yeah, a lot of people exactly. are very much on board with it. Exactly. And I'm one of them. Right. Thank I'm going to move it. on to- Bunch of bastards. Oh, stop it, Kate. Oh, stop it. We're going to move straight on to our next category and it is the best look. Aside from your own, who had the best look in the episode? Aside from my own, yeah. Well, I don't. My looks every week were the best the ten, look. Ten, I can't ten. believe I won last week from Cara. That was wild. Um, <laughs> oh, do I have to do the episodes? I'll do the season then. Do the season, Banksy. Banksy, but which which and Banksy? Just Banksy in general. Just her her holiday one. Yeah. Where I'd worn leopard print two weeks in a row, and she came in in like ocelot and just. Smacked me out out the safari park, and her her makeover with Cheddar that she's posted on Instagram. Yes, I saw it. Stopping. I went. Amazing. Oh God, she's honestly so talented. Hater. She is. Ah. <laughs> I I've tried to borrow all of her outfits, but they were just too baggy on me. Yeah, they were. It they makes were. sense. It really it makes sense. Too baggy. <laughs> <laughs> this week it was family resemblance makeover challenge and you were partnered with somebody very iconic from the switchboard lgbtq plus helpline sadly you ended up in the bottom two but how did you find the challenge working with such inspiring people and also having to do somebody else's makeup what 
I mean, I did shave my eyebrows off the day before the first day of filming and it completely threw off my whole face. And I was I like, I'm that. normally all right at makeup. I'm not like a makeup queen, but I'm, I look like a drag queen when I put makeup yeah. on. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I shaved the eyebrows off and it lost me completely. And then they were like, and now do it on someone else as well. And I was like, oh God. <laughs> but it was it was such a magical episode. It felt like such a great honour to represent Switchboard and to give these amazing volunteers um, mm. the, the props they deserve and a, a fun, magical drag race experience. It was a big responsibility, yeah. but I'm, I'm thrilled that we got to do it. Absolutely. It was such a joyous episode to watch. And I think all of you were like in your, I know obviously it's a competition, but I really felt all of you were in your element. And for me, you're all winners. Um, <laughs> what was your favourite challenge on the show, babes? Oh, I loved, I loved them all. Even the ones that I didn't think I'd be great at, like the girl group challenge. I love doing that. You and I sexy Kate challenge. strikes again. <laughs> you look great. You look oh, you look stunning then. I was yeah. like, oh wow, okay, what? <laughs> um, I think my favorite was the Rusical because it was all of us banded together in one big group, and it was kind of like the stuff that I do outside of the show. We put yeah. on a play together in a very short amount of time. Everyone was doing everything, running around, learning lines and choreography and everything. And I think it was a camp all time. I had oh, a great time. Oh, it was camp. Oh, it was great musical. You did phenom, babes. You did phenom. Okay, we're going to move on to our next category, and it is the class clown. Who is the biggest class clown of the season, and when did they make you laugh? So I can't pick myself again. You That's can't pick thing. yourself. I I know, know, I know. Winning all these categories. Um, <laughs> I think it's it's close, but I think Michael Maruli. Oh. Um, but with a close honourable mention for Ginger and Banksy, um, there was a time, I specifically remember when we were all safe in the sewing challenge, mm -hmm. um, me and Vicky and Ginger and Michael, and um, it's where we started doing a Scylla Black impression that just kind of carried I've us. i heard the about thing. this Scylla Black impression. Ew. Yeah, come on, give me some more. Yeah, yeah. What <laughs> Now, Michael looked, so Banksy came back in and was like so excited that she was at the top. And Michael looked at her and went, what's well, black and white and jumps around. <laughs> we, we were delirious already on episode delirious. two. Um, <laughs> and we just kept doing it. And we tried to get everyone to be Scylla Black for Snatch Game and just see what would have happened. It would happen if everyone just turned up as Scylla Black. <laughs> Different uh, different points in our career. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'd be the one uh, sitting at that table in that pub refusing to give up that seat. That's yeah. what I would do. <laughs> always, always. It's a shame. It is a shame you can't vote for yourself, Kate, because you really are the clown of the season and in general. And every my, sense. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and every sense of the word. Uh, but the audience are absolutely living for your jokes and humour. You're really the narrator of the season, to be deadly honest with you. But as a comedy queen... You must have been absolutely thrilled to for the response from the show. Like, has it been? How's it been? Just phenomenal. It's been incredible. I kind of expected to go up, go in there, and everyone to just hate me because I know I'm not like a a classic drag race drag queen. I'm yeah, a silly yeah. little bastard. Um, <laughs> and the fact that people relate to me and understand my sense of humor and my references, and um, the fact that I don't take life seriously. Yeah. It feels quite. It's, it's quite refreshing to see someone unburdened by the desire to win Drag Race, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I, wore, I saw everyone else's outfits. I was like, I've spent four pound fifty on all of mine. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I'm just going to do as much silliness as possible. As possible. Well, the judges and Ruth seem to really vibe with the humour. How was that? Did was there anything we didn't see uh, on stage? Did you and Ruth have a little wink, wink, nudge, nudge? Oh, it was amazing. Um, my favourite bit was in the disaster class where I was technically in the bottom. <laughs> um, I was the fourth best, but um, <laughs> um, Rue said, you were amazing, you were confident, you were, you could trust you and that you should have your own talk show. And I was like, that is a shame that they didn't put that in the edit. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I could have really went, oh, no. <laughs> could have really used that for like some, some forward going. But um, Alan saying that me and Ginger should have a show together and be on the telly and be at the National Theatre. Um, that's lovely as well. Very nice. Lovely comments from the judges. And they were right about a lot of the aesthetic things, but that's fixable. 
<laughs> that's pretty listen you need to call them up now and be like can we get this in writing do you know what i mean <laughs> yes <laughs> rings and some contacts come on <laughs> you're a working girl <laughs> time for our final category the pop first prom queen who is your prom queen from this season and why i'm gonna go for the absolute sweetheart my yorkshire sister miss naomi carter hey hey up oh. hey up oh, babs um I was born in Yorkshire, I should clarify. Um, I felt a little kindred spirit. Um, she is an absolute sweetheart. She's a, so lovely and warm and beautiful to be around. And it's Jeez. such a shame that her time was, I think, was impacted by her knee. Because ain't no way our group should have been in that bottom for the disaster class at all. Yeah. But... It was dancing the week after, so I see why it kind of happened. And I'd love for her to get another chance. I'd love for Alexis to get another chance as well. Um, we should have just had a non-elimination season. Yeah. All winners. We well, should have just done... It's just everyone's so great. Everyone's so everyone's good. There's no, so like, great. You'll get Billy Queens. Up. There's Everyone brings something to okay. the show. And, yeah, Alexis and Naomi. Naomi, I think I've really bonded with her in the sofa and in the disaster class. The but sofa. I love them both. That sentence, explain that sentence to straight people. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, because this is your yearbook, we're going to need a yearbook quote. And it can be absolutely anything, darling. Just something to remember you by. Um, If you can't love yourself, go to therapy. Hey! If you can't love yourself, go to therapy. I love that. That's great. Obviously, just teaching all the kids, ain't you? Well, exactly. Let's see what the uh, what the the kid talking to the kids, the children have to say. The audience, there's one comment. Look at me, I look like a nanoma. Right, let's get to it. <laughs> what games uh, you got on your phone? Yeah. <laughs> one commenter says, "You did incredible." Yeah, that's lovely. Someone says, "I'd let you in my window." Wow. <laughs> knock knock. Uh, we have a question. Uh, if you could pick any lip sync song, uh, what would you have chosen? Well, this is a bit of insider tea and gossip. Ooh. When you apply for Drag Race, you fill out a really long form. And mm. one of the questions is, what songs do you like to perform to? Um, I put, obviously, like, Kate Bush, Musical Theatre. Mm. And I put This Hell by Rita Sawayama. Um, never performed it before in my life. I just hoped that they would pick it as a song and pick her as a guest judge. I just wanted to meet Rita Sawayama. And then, lo and behold, it was the song. And I'd never performed it before in my life. But I think I still did all right. Um, if I had to choose, I would have loved to have done I Dreamed a Dream. Oh, yeah, you would have, yeah. yeah. A musical theatre girly, definitely. I, I would see uh, poverty on your face. It would have been great. Uh, <laughs> I cut my hair. I cut your hair, literally. I cut it. Uh, we have another question. Did you have any uh, alternative Snatch Game characters? Um, I had a couple. Um, one of them was Greta, Greta Thunberg. Um, and the whole joke was that she hadn't been to school, so she couldn't spell any of her answers. And um, there was it was it was just at the time that the Andrew Tate pizza box thing had happened as well. Oh my god! Um, but I couldn't find my plats in the workroom, so I didn't do that. Um, I did Joan of Arc, and she was getting all of her answers from God. Um, Kenneth Williams, who's an absolute icon. Icon. Um, yeah. uh, yeah. But I'm I'm glad I did my I got a bit of bush out. Yeah, of course you got you got it. Do you know what I mean? You've got to. Well, Kate Butch, thank you so much for joining me on the Drag Race Yearbook. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And we'll be back next week with the next Eliminated Queen. But, Kate, I absolutely... You've been my sister since 2018 when we competed together as little baby drag queens. And to see you absolutely rise is honestly just phenomenal. I'm so thank proud you. of you. You are my sister to the end. And you are a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, Kate Butch. Love you. Love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. Until... <laughs> See you, Babs! Bye, Babs! Bye, Babs!